Hey guys, welcome to NAB 2025. My name is Dave and I'm from QSupport. I'm joined by Levan from Verdoc today. And he's going to walk us through uh, one of the new products that they have called Maki Live. So, Levan, what Excellent. can you tell us? Yes. So if you want to join me, like to let me show you our latest product, the Maki Live, which is over here. So the Maki Live is, looks similar to our already well-known product, Maki uh, Ultra, but has a completely different form factor. So this camera is both for Wi-Fi applications. So we do have a Wi-Fi camera which is capable of operating for four, four hours uh, on its own. But if you still want to like rely on a network connection, we also have other options. So there's like a PoE adapter with a lockable port, so it's safe to work like constantly on the ethernet. So you have the power for the battery so you don't have to worry about the uh, runtime. As well as we have like a HDMI port which will be capable of do like the full 4K. Uh, other than that, we can record on the SD card. We do have built-in microphones and a time of light sensor. So the camera also, as you can see, like uh, utilizing an RGB light, which can be used for standby light on different color themes. So if you like want to color code different markies, that's possible. And of course, you will have the regular like Hello Telly in green and in red. Other than that, it also comes with some accessories like a tripod, which is really compact size, but at the same time can go up like to one meter fifty. And we also like just announced a new software called Maki Studio. And together with the Maki Studio, you get a really cool application. So for instance, you have like a complete vision mixing tool on your iPad with the full processing power, which an iPad Pro can deliver to you. But at the same time, it's fully really comfortable to work on that because we have a control surface. So the control surface gives you access, like direct access to the camera, to titling options. So you can easily control whatever you're doing on the iPad before touching even the iPad. But it's, at the same time, you also get options like a um, pencil control. We can use annotator uh, applications to create much more interesting like educational use cases with that as well. Yeah, this would be great for schools, I guess, right? Yes, so definitely. where you would do annotation for, uh, yeah. for example, classroom filmings or medical applications. Yeah. Uh, you also told us that we can do multi-camera uh, connections yes. to this app. So that's also like this interesting um, aspect of the camera that if you like on the run, so if you're a content creator, or we are like, always like changing environments where you produce your content, the cameras can run on their own on a uh, network. So there's an access point mode. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you have like multiple cameras, yes. you can utilize one camera as the main access point and the other cameras will create then a mesh out of mesh the cameras. Yes. If you more like in a um, controlled environment, you can also like get access to an existing access point mm -hmm. and utilize the, the cameras within like a much wider network environment and like maybe add in like another X5, X4. Yeah. So you get like more access than just like the Maki Live for your production. And I guess you can also, because you have this very nice feature with the USB to Ethernet dongle, yes. you could do it via Ethernet as well. Yes, I guess. definitely. So if you like, for instance, want to like have a much more superior webcam installation mm -hmm. or you want to like get access to a conference tool, which will not allow you to utilize any NDI tool or any additional plug-in. Mm -hmm. You can just use the USB-C connection as well as a universal video controller. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to install any driver. It will be immediately be recognized as a as camera. As a webcam, yes. Exactly. And you can use like in a lot of different applications. You could also use I guess, like in Teams, for example, Definitely. or Zoom, yes. because yes. Uh, yes. Yes. because it is a webcam. Sure. Perfect. And as, as you mentioned on the, the software, you can also do multi-cam switching, right? Yes. On the, so if you have, she said, multi, multi cameras connected, you can do multi-cam yeah. switching. You can even record on the iPad if that's Actually, right. yes. So you have like different options to record in 265 like HEVC or 264 mm -hmm. and the camera itself by the way can also like stream out via SRT so okay. if you have other application where you want to stream out to and they like have, of course like the NDI output mm -hmm. as a standard mm -hmm. so you have really a lot, a lot of options perfect and you said that uh, the Maki Live it compares to the Maki Ultra as well right so yes. it's more or less the same camera feature set exactly um, in, in a different form factor mm -hmm. like and just like for this like more like um, on-the-go aspect mm -hmm. of production and be like capable of having a really like, compact size mm -hmm. a studio like just like on a backpack like yes. you combine that for instance with like our bundled solutions where you get like a control surface mm -hmm. together with three cameras you're already done like you can also like add additional audio interfaces to the control surface yes so we have a USB-C um, port on the control surface which will allow you to connect to a an, an hub and mm -hmm. that hub can be utilized for instance for a USB interface so you have like even so you can much connect analog audio, yeah. analog audio inputs to your uh, studio solution. So you can embed the analog yeah. audio into the yeah. system as well. Okay, great. Is there anything more you would like to add to uh, to this? Oh man, there's like <laughs> so many things you can always think of. Like the one like generates another idea. Um, so 
basically it's really like just to say like actually this is a really versatile solution and what i personally like is always like the little details yes so being really like capable of choose your like your own environment where you can go for poe adapters or usb-c direct connection mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to have the sd card oh and actually um it's also like kind of my personal stuff what i've done so um since we have more than one application and if you want to just utilize for instance one camera yes you if you use like this one with a iphone so mm -hmm. you can you can like create your rig so you just put in your, your own iphone mm -hmm. configure your camera so you have already like a new finder mm -hmm. like a and then just like mount your camera on that and you have like kind of like a run and gun interview oh situation God. And you, and you will be running the same application, the the live the live application on. Yes, your iPad. so you can you can use the same application, uh, which you're running on on, um, on the iPad Pro. Of course, it will be limited because of the processing because, power. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you can just also just use the Maki Config tool. Okay. And the like config, the web interface. Yeah, so like this will also allow you to control the zoom, to have like monitoring and full screen, mm -hmm. the SRC output. And actually, like to trigger the record. Okay. Yes. So if you just want, like, for instance, have like one camera running around making some clips, you just can do it like this. Right. Perfect. So there are a lot of different things you can think of, um, or you actually find your own workflow. Mm -hmm. So you're not limited to the aspect of a like, product. You can mm -hmm. actually like just create your own environment. And, and you can add, I guess, not only the Maki series, but also the other Burdock cameras into the mix, if you'd yeah, like. Yeah, for, for sure, of course. So As long as it talks NDI, we'll talk with the software. It's not only NDI, so it's also like in stand other protocols, like, like for instance, RTMP stream should be like also like working on that, as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. But basically, yes, so NDI for sure. Mm -hmm. And you can add just like we have done here on the booth, like the Maki's together with X1, X5, X4. Everything. You only have to keep in mind, of course, the overall processing power and how many streams you get in with what stream count. But again, theoretically, you can do this all wireless mm -hmm. <coughs> since the product supports that. But if you add in like an USB-C dongle mm -hmm. over the one gig Ethernet port, you get like additional like more robust Ethernet connection. connection. So you will be maybe have like more options to add even more inputs to the software. And what would you say will be, let's say, a max in, in terms of uh, connected cameras? Would it be no, like four I, or five-ish or? I, I had to talk to my product management for that. But as you can see from product we design. We got six buttons. So at yeah, you know, it's, it depends like from the channel point of view at six, but depends okay, on if, if you, you go like 4K 60 on all six and you have additional yes. video clips playing. So. Yes. The software itself is really like a full-fledged yeah. video mixer. Like mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can create titles, you can play back video files, you can get external like HDMI animations in. Mm -hmm. So you really, really have everything you need to do like your own production live okay. or just even record it. Okay, perfect. Well, maybe last point because I still I'm seeing these buttons here. So you said because it's a full-fledged uh, application for video mixing, yeah. we got transitions, we got uh, picture, also picture, picture. And picture. Pictures that would be nice, and uh, from an uh, educational from, perspective, where you yeah, say definitely. have a uh, so you could even let's say make it uh, that you have a converter HDMI into MDI yeah. for a laptop input, I guess, or you do one of the applications and a, and. A, uh, an educator like a teacher could just really make make an easy I mean like the, the beauty of the NDI application or the protocols would be here like especially in the educational field if you're working like with an iPad solution for instance you can use like native application to screen capture an iPad there's screen uh, capture applications for Windows and Mac OS mm -hmm. so if you run that on like on a facility on installed machines to share and distribute video images mm -hmm. that can be done you can also like just, um, as you just said, like create your own content and play back that as a movie from a playlist. We have like logo features, we can add like music, we have an audio mixer, like basically everything you need. Everything just you in need. a nutshell, in a form factor of an iPad, which makes it more like streamlined, especially for people who are not really from the video production industry. Mm -hmm. He wants to have like intuitive, easy access. And I think that's also like one of the main aspects on Butter products. We are always user centric. Mm -hmm. We try to create workflow and solutions mm -hmm. for people uh, to just reduce the barriers and make it much more easier. Easy, yes. So you can like focus on your content creation and on the process itself rather than figuring out the how the tech works. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And maybe to, to close up, uh, so the price. What does yes. the price do? Uh, for the uh, Maki Life, it's uh, 495. So almost 500 in, in dollars in the US dollars. In US dollars. Yeah, yes. that's the MSRP okay, price. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And the and the the, the, key, the keyboard here. Six ninety five. Six ninety five. Perfect. Well, if I may, I thank you very much for this interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, guys, Cheers. that was it for today. Um, wish you all the best. You too.